how this healthcare center is creating an affirmative and welcoming space for LGBTQ plus individuals on today's Common Good, sponsored by Discovery Plus. Hey y'all, and welcome to Common Good. I'm Luria Freeman. Callan Lord is a community health care center based in New York City that has been serving LGBTQ plus patients for more than 50 years. Providers at Callan Lord treat approximately 20,000 patients per year. That group encompasses people across the LGBTQ plus community, as well as people living with HIV, people without insurance, and people utilizing Medicaid programs. Callan Lord's approach to health care is really about providing as much education and support to patients and providing it all regardless of ability to pay. I think the mission of Cal and Lord really speaks to providing safe, confidential care and also that patients have a lot of autonomy over decisions around their body. And I think that's very unique in the medical system. You don't always see places that not only are affirmative, but also understand that patients are the leaders of their lives and the experts of their health. A lot of the work that Cal and Lord does with young people is giving them the tools to understand their bodies, to affirm that they know what they want and they know the kind of care they want, and also to destigmatize access to care. So many of the young people we work with, and adults, come from marginalized communities where they've had bad experiences with the medical system, or behavioral health system, or just institutions at large that are you know, primarily heteronormative, racist, not affirming to their identities. And Cal and Lord really provides a different space where people can see their health as something that they're empowered to take care of. I had been excommunicated from my family and my community at a very young age. And so I was still trying to cope and deal with that. So, you know, I was like, okay, no insurance. How am I going to take care of my health? And I was sleep couching in Chelsea with a friend. And my friend told me about Cal and Lord. And I, I, once I walked in the doors, it was marriage and love at first sight. Like, I mean, I've been a part of Cal and Lord since 2000, and very involved as a patient. and. Started off as a community advisory board member and then was invited to take a seat at the board of directors. I think it's unique that our board of directors, like at least 50% are patients. And that's, I think that's unusual. For me, I never imagined being uh, on a board of directors at this point in my life. But because I, ha I am now, it's given me a lot more confidence to take on bigger challenges in every area of my life. I began my medical transition at the age of 15, and it was just something that I had to do. I had to do black market hormones for five years, and it was because I wasn't aware of the education. The internet was not what it was today. So my experiences at Cal and Lord have been absolutely wonderful, and it's because they make sure that if you want to be heard, they make a space for you at the table. For example, I was somebody that would always bring up like, where are the trans services? Why aren't there more groups, etc.? And Cal and Lord was the first place where I was encouraged to be part of community speak up, and it was also in many spaces, I was not the only trans person in the space, which made me feel even more comfortable. There are times that I wish that I could receive absolutely all of my medical care at Calen Lord, but unfortunately that's not possible. At the end of the day, it's a gamble, you know, going to other places and not knowing what people have on their mind. Calen Lord is not only concerned with the state of LGBTQ plus healthcare today, but also how those medical experiences can be improved in the future, within their walls and around the world. The Keith Herring Nurse Practitioner Postgraduate Fellowship in LGBTQ plus health is a 12-month program training family and adult gerontology primary care nurse practitioners. The Nurse Practitioner Fellowship Program is just honestly it's a one of a kind. There's no other program in place to my knowledge that you know is training nurse practitioners in queer health. It's really filling a void in a significant need for the queer community by and large. The nature of the program is to bring in new providers who are interested in queer health and give them the skills not only to bring into their own practice but how do we improve queer health for the long run in you know, areas outside of New York too, right? It's not just about gaining our own individual confidence, but empowering us to have the tools to spread that confidence elsewhere. Our See Good Do Good challenge this week is to lead with empathy when your friends and loved ones share experiences that differ from your own. We're all on very different journeys, but we can learn to be better allies by listening first and offering support. 
After all, whether big or small, one act of common good can change the world. I'd like to thank Discovery Plus for sponsoring today's episode. Go to Discovery Plus's Always Proud Hub to check out its inspiring Pride content. Text PRIDE to 707070 to donate to The Trevor Project, and you can start your free trial of Discovery Plus at discoveryplus.com. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching Common Good.